Well, let's see, is everybody ready? Well, I am ready. Let's hope everybody connects soon. Sylvia, hello. Hello, teacher. Wow, so early. You home already? No, teacher. I am here. I'm having dinner here in the hotel. So. Okay, I no problem. It. No problem. Enjoy it. We yeah. will talk later, okay? Okay, thank you. Claudia, hello, good evening, how are you? Hello, teacher, I'm fine, and you? Uh, you're just checking your homework, actually. Hi, thank you, okay, teacher. Do you have your homework handy? Sorry? Do you have, do you have it handy? Lo tiene la mano? Yes. Okay, I am a math teacher, I am a math teacher. I am. Okay, okay. Let's see, I work at a private school. A private school, okay. And I teach math. I teach math. Okay. And re their responsibilities, plural. Okay. Okay. Perfect. The rest is perfect. Thank you, Claudia. Thank you, teacher. Well done. Let's see. Let's see. It's good that you did the homework. We will see the rest of the people because I'm wondering if everybody wrote it. But tell me, Claudia, how was yesterday for you? Um. It was good. I was ordering not and uploading not to the platform. I was. It's, it's that time of the year, right? Yes, yes, teacher. I need, I need upload um, a lot of not in platform. No notes, no grades. 
a lot of grades. A lot of grades. Okay. Yes. A lot of grades. You say yes. You say a lot of grades. Yes, in the afternoon I was is, is study with yes. the child or studying? Studying? Studying with the child uh, for exam. Okay. He have exam today. He have a math exam. Oh, really? Yes. Well, let's, let's hope he did okay. Yes. Okay, let's hope everything goes okay. Because preparing people for exams sometimes is there. Yes, but uh, she, he um, study third grade. Oh my gosh, little kiddo. Yes. Yeah, with little kiddos for me it's complex. I mean, uh, yes, I don't like it that much different. with little kiddos. Yes, it's a whole different story. Yes, teacher. Well, but it's good that you keep busy. It's always good to be busy. Yes. And what, yes. how was your day, teacher? Today? Yes. This is as usual, you know, a lot of work. I went to work and then I came here. Then I prepare a, a chronogram of activities for one student that I'm going to be working until I'm going to be teaching Sundays, this student, until December the 26th. Mm -hmm. You have a lot of, a lot of work. Yes, I'm going to be working with that student on Sundays, three hours per Sunday. Okay. It's so, cool. Yeah, it's cool. A little bit tiring, but you know, that's the way it goes. And how was your week? My weekend or my week? Um, Weekend is Saturday weekend. and Sunday. Weekend. Uh -huh. Your weekend? My weekend, well, uh, I got a back pain because I was driving yesterday for six hours. Oh. I was driving for six hours, three hours to go, stay one, stop one hour and then come back three hours, exactly three hours driving. So my back hurts. Yes, that was yeah, that was tired, teacher. Yeah, it was. It was. It was a long, very long, long trip. But you know, what can we do? Perhaps next time I will rest a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's cool. Well, Claudia, thank you. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Nicolas, hello. Where are you, Nicolas? I just saw you around. How are you, Nicolas? Can you hear me, Nicolas? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Nicolas. In your homework, in the last line, in la última línea, for to know the process, no. Prep students graduated to know the process. You need to erase the four, okay? Okay, teacher. Thank you. That's the only little detail. And tell me, how are you? How are you today, Nicolas? Ah, thank you. Yeah, sorry, teacher. I don't understand. I, I, I watch the the homework, and I I think, well, I prepare the the opinion or the recommendation of the picture. 
Mm. Well, it's always good. It's always good. I mean, there are always little details, but nothing to worry. Okay. Well, uh, my day is 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 uh, good. I in the morning I uh, prepare a a report okay. uh, of uh, of uh, of the last weekend uh, uh, relacional related to or related with related related to uh, visit uh, to communities in Tacuba um, okay. uh, about two two organizations uh, organizations and the activities the activities uh, uh, bueno, uh, well uh, the activities I I this day today I prepared the documents oh, okay. yes uh, per perform teacher do you perform do you have... perform realizar okay perform uh, the documents okay perfect uh, and in the afternoon yes. i i well well we we was in a we uh, were we were we were uh, in a uh, how do you say teacher capacitación training Yes, we were training uh, about um, uh, ventas, buy or sales, sales about sales. Uh, in 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 this moment, we we need we need the no we need no this topic. Uh, because uh, in the in the uh, empresa company in the co thank you teacher in the company uh, we we need a sell 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 okay you need to increase the sales perfect Quite interesting. Thank you very much, Nicholas, for sharing okay, with us. Okay, thank you, teacher. Oh, thanks for you. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Janira, hello, Janira. Hello, teacher. How's it going? Alive, alive. Really? Let's leave it Why? like that, like that. Uh, back <laughs> I was telling your classmate that I was riding so long yesterday, uh, like six hours driving straight. And then today sitting all day long in the computer, my back horse. Really? So, but eh, that's normal. A painkiller, some sleep, and that's going to be. What about you, Janina? How are you? Well, I'm. So tired this year. Why? You do nothing all day long. <laughs> I walk a lot, teacher, today. Oh, really? Yeah. My my feet, my foot. How do you say my, my, my feet? Yeah, my, my foot. Feet. My feet. feet. My feet. Um, or, or are they killing you? I don't hear you quite well, Jamila. Maybe it's my answer. Uh, now less. Uh, give me a second. No problem. I'll give you one second. And now, teacher? Can you hear now's me? Now perfect. Yes. Okay. 
Well, I'm tired. I'm take a resting and ready for your class. Oh, really? How long did you rest? Um, maybe 30 minutes because oh, that's okay. before... did you take a nap or just resting? Relax. Only resting because um, I work in a computer too because I need to repair a hard disk. Well, not repairing, but I cloning a hard disk. Okay, so you kept on working. That's not resting, my dear. Well, for I'm you resting it is. I'm sorry? For you, it is resting. Yeah, because I relax. I'm sitting in front of my computer, only checking that all is okay. Then I'm resting. That's cool. That's actually cool. Yes. And what about I yesterday? Actually... How was yesterday for you? Um, yesterday, wait, I flying yesterday. I, I flying. How do you say bole? I flew. I flew yesterday. Um, all was okay because the fly was on time and I... The flight. The flight was okay and I didn't have any problem. Okay. Some weird your... happened in immigration because I didn't get a, a stamp in my passport. You didn't get a stamp they in your only, passport? Yes, they only check and ask me a, a small interview. And that's it, it was very easy to pass immigration. This is weird that's because cool. I, know, I know the process and it's different. Well, that's interesting, that's interesting. Yeah, I was yeah. worried about you. I thought, oh, Shanira's gonna be tripping. She's not gonna be in my they class. Are right, teacher. They are okay, right, teacher. Okay, and tell I me, some... how's your practice? Are you practicing English? Bad teacher, really bad. <laughs> because someone asked me if I uh, speak Spanish and uh, asked me some question and well, I get nervous. I got ner nervous and I can't speak well. I couldn't. I couldn't. Well, now that you have the opportunity, try and try to pay attention, try to listen. That helps a lot. Just sit there and listen to people talk. And slowly you are going to be catching words. Then you're going to be catching phrases. That's the way it works. Teacher, the problem is not catching um, the, the another person. The problem is when I try to speak, I get I get nervous and I can't think, okay. Well, believe me, because the catching is going to help you. The more you catch, is going to give you confidence when speaking. Okay. That's the way it works. I mean, when you understand more, it's going to be easier for you to reply. Okay. So okay. practice your listening. It's okay. going to be okay. helpful, believe me. That's the way it okay. works. Jamila, Thank you for, welcome. for the advice. And uh, no problem. I'm so happy to have you here in class. Let's you, see. Ambar, hello, Ambar, how are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. I'm fine. What about you? Here, you know, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm okay. How was your day, Ambar? Um, I it was relaxed day. I mm, I not don't. Not many sales. I, I didn't have a lot of sales, but tomorrow. Uh, will be busy because uh, one client sent me a do document for mm. sale. 
Oh, but that's good, right? Yes. A busy day for you is a good day. Exactly. That's good, that's good. And relaxed so day clear. is a bad day. <laughs> yeah, 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 I imagine, I imagine. A relaxing day is not good. Relaxing day. Relaxing day is a bad day. Yeah, but I can imagine. Day. It's good. Yes. It's good, oh, that's yes. Good. That's cool, that's good. So let's hope everything goes according to the plan tomorrow, Amber. Thank you, teacher. Uh, Thanks no, for no, your no. good wishes for me. I know, I know you're gonna do good. Thanks to you for being here in class. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Let's see, Marta, where's Marta? Marta, hello, how are you? Hi, teacher, how are you? I'm good, and you? Well, you know, here, yeah, just fine, just fine. Trying to get on the rhythm of the week. Because Monday How do you feel? Always... You, you flew, teacher? Oh, it's almost gone away. Are you better? Yeah, from the flu, yeah. My back is hurting, ah, you know, that comes with old age. When you reach a certain age, when one pain starts, another one is, when one stops, another one starts. So, <laughs> okay, teacher. Yeah, <laughs> when you reach this age, that happens. That happens a lot. So, nothing to worry. Oh, excellent, teacher. So what about you? I'm good, thing? teacher. I'm good, very good, you know. Same story. <laughs> going to the market, going to church. Yeah. Oh, you live the alone, bank. right? Yes, yes, teacher. <laughs> oh, that's cool. But today is uh, my day off. Well, oh it's, it's vacation for me for three, just, three days. Just Oh, three days. Yes. That's cool. So what do you plan to do these three days? Tell me. Well, I... I'm going to. I'm going uh, to the zoo. To, Today. To the what? I to visit the zoo. The zoo. It's a logical teacher. Yeah, you went to the zoo? Yes. I just go there if they take me all the way from the Mayera. I don't like going to the school. Yes, teacher, but it's a zoo, a Cameron. Oh, nice. Yes. So where so... are you right now, Marta? <laughs> I am in United States, teacher. That's cool. Yes, but my practice is not good too. <laughs> either, either. Either. I'm so Man, sorry, that's... I fail. <laughs> when did you get there? On Wednesday. Last Wednesday? Yes. I, you didn't tell me. Oh, hmm. Interesting. Yes, but it's, oh, everything is well, teacher. When are you coming back to El Salvador? Uh, I arrived yesterday and returned to El Salvador on Wednesday. On Wednesday. Okay, it's a short trip. Yes, it's for okay. Which four state days. are you visiting? I visited my uncle. Where in the States? In Texas. Texas. Oh, are you with Janina? Close? Yes. <laughs> uh -huh. The two of you got together for the trip. That's cool. That's nice. Well, I hope you enjoyed your trip. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. Uh, thanks to you for being here in class. Let's see. Wilfredo. Hello, Wilfredo. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Let's talk about El Salvador. Wilfredo, you are here in El Salvador, not like these people, you know, they're traveling and everything. Let's talk. 
teacher. How are you, Wilfredo? Fine, fine. A little, a little tired, but the week, the week is starting. But, yeah. but yeah, Mondays want... are hard for everybody. Mondays yes. used to be hard for everyone. That's normal. Yes, but we are here trying, trying to learn more. Yeah, that's cool. That's the attitude. Did you play this last weekend? Yes. Okay. Did you win? On Saturday, we won two, two one. Two to one. Oh, that's cool. Yes. But yesterday we didn't play because the the team um, doesn't doesn't came. No, 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 oh. no, vino, no, no, Oh, really? So you won by the fault? Yes. Yes. But that's, yes, I, that's bad I went, because I mean, it's yes, always I, good when you exercise. I want, I wanted to play because. Yeah, yes, I imagine. It is better to play that uh, uh, win playing that fault. The fault yeah. is. is it's not good. Doesn't feel doesn't feel like winning. Yes, yes. I know, I know exactly what you mean. Well, but the good thing is that you rested, and I mean, yeah. this time of the year are heavy days at work. I imagine. Yes. Yes, teacher. But I I guess that sometimes it is it is nice to rest because um, it is. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but my my guys go. Uh, they now they got to play, but oh, that's cool. Yes, and uh, you're they, suffering here in class, my friend. Yes, I, I always go with them, but they start to play around 9 p.m. Oh. But they are oh. finishing late. But I need to sleep. Yeah, I imagine. Yeah, yeah, yeah but... we, we are, I mean, we got different <laughs> obligations. Yes, yes. Yeah. But always, we have some time to play. Yeah, I mean, there's always time. Wilfredo, welcome to the class. Thank you, teacher. No, thanks nice to you. to see you again. Okay. Likewise. Let's see attendance, guys. Ambar Eli Alfaro Gomez. Present. Claudia Elizabeth Ramos Barriento. Present. Daniel Eduardo Segueda Valencia. Present, teacher. Because... Thank you. Fernando Marvin Gonzalez Martinez. Present. Thank you. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Jose Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. Lucero Abigail Godinez López. Present teacher. Thank you. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Marta Anabelina Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Natanael Ayala Aristondo. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Oscar Ricardo Alvarenga Rodríguez, Roxana Iveda Asensio de Mejía. Present. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Thank you. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present teacher. Eh, Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Present teacher. Shanira Elizabeth Asensio Garcia. Present teacher. Nicolas Atilio, say present, please. Present. Present teacher. Thank you. Appreciate it. 
Okay, guys, I still have a few minutes. Let's see who else can we talk to right here, right here. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Jose, hello, Jose, how are you? Hey, good evening, everybody. Good evening, teacher. How are you, mister? I'm fine, teacher. I'm a little bit tired. Yeah, Monday, right? As usual, teacher. Today yeah, is usual. Mondays. Mondays are like that. They are like that. Uh, yes, teacher, it is. It's like the engine doesn't want to start on Mondays, right? Yes. Yeah, I yes, know what teacher. You mean. I know exactly <laughs> what you mean. Mondays are like, ah, uh, terrible. On Tuesday, yes. you start like getting the rhythm. Excuse me, teacher? On Tuesdays, we start getting the rhythm of the week, right? Ah, yes, teacher. <laughs> yes. Yeah, but you're, you're right. Mondays are like, ah, uh, terrible. I mean, you feel like Monday never ends. Yes, teacher, it's, it was a long day. So many things to do and a little time available. Yeah. Available. Yeah, that happens. That happens. I mean, we are like, there's not enough time in the day to fulfill all these activities, right? And now is, the meaning is suficiente, teacher. Yes, exactly. Okay. Get the oh, teacher. Okay. Nice talking to you and welcome. Thank you, teacher. Daniel, hello, how are you? Hi, teacher. Hello, Daniel. I was wondering, how are the projects? Tell me, you you were giving, you were finishing a project this weekend, right? Uh, that was the goal, but it can be. Ooh. But uh, we talk with the client and she said there's no problem because we may we are waiting a little more um, no como sería nos estamos tardando it's taking us longer okay let me text it for you let me take this for you it's taking us longer like this yeah, it's taking us longer because we want to make everything like the walls, the floor and everything looks really great because for the amount the client paid, we believe that's the less that she can wait. And we talk with her of that and she said that there is no problem. Okay, and yeah. Yeah, detailing is always like uh, a little bit troublesome, right? Yeah, and it's hard because there's a lot of uh, small things that you work all day and you probably don't see that much advance mm -hmm. at the project. Yeah, that's a little bit stressful right at the end that I mean, you spend a lot of time in little things. Yeah. And today uh, we start another project, but that project is really, really small. It's only uh, to change the ceiling of a room. Oh. But it, you know, it's small, but it takes time. Yeah, because you have to in uninstall and then install again, right? Yeah, and for example, today was a really busy day. At the morning, I were, I went to the uh, the principal project, for example, the biggest one. And around 10 a.m. or 11, I go to the project that was the ceiling change. And in the our, I have a meeting at El Nance in Acajut oh, yeah. at 3 p.m. So I didn't lunch and didn't lunch. Go, I didn't have lunch 
and go to there. But when and, and went I, there and went there and went there, yeah. And when I went when I was there, I because of the hurry that I have, I see that I arrived a little earlier. Oh. So I have a little time to lunch to get lunch. So. That's good, that's good. I mean, yes, yeah, sometimes we're in a hurry that we lose track of time. Yeah, today was well, and I have yeah. just arrived home. Oh my God. So it was really a long day for you too. Yeah, and around um, 9 p.m. I will go out again for a little uh, meeting. Oh my God. Yeah. We're going to be busy today. Well, welcome to the class, Daniel. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Let's see, Roxana. Hello, Roxana. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Um, so far, so good, teacher. I'm no sé. I'm tired. Oh. Tired? Oh, my God. teacher. Yeah, Monday. Monday. I have a lot of things to do in my work, and I'm worried now because I heard something about that Janita and and Martha are traveling now, and I'm almost in closing. Oh so yeah, they told me. I they need told me. support. Yeah. I told them, hey, what about if Roxana needs support? They were laughing. They were like, ha, ha, ha. Yeah, I know. It's going to be I'm funny. I'm sorry for yeah. you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I'm happy here. <laughs> yeah, you know. Today, I sent one case by ITOP, and I think that I... Oh, oh my dear. Yeah, yeah, I know. I get my um, solve maybe next week. Your case waiting for me. I <laughs> oh my back. God. Me oh, more. Yeah, so sorry. <laughs> so I'm a warrior. Sorry. Now I'm a stressful, a stressful for No, I'm tomorrow. stressed out. I'm stressed I'm out. A, I'm stressed out. For the rest of the week. She doesn't know nothing. Come on. No. They, they, I told them, what about Roxanne? And they were like, who cares? <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, welcome to the class, Roxanne. Thank you. So teacher. glad to have good news for you. <laughs> Thank That's you. a matter. <laughs> no, parece estresada, verdad, teacher? Nah, nah, not at all. Not at all. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you, Roxana. Fernando, hello. Hello, teacher. How are you? Um, I'm fine, teacher. Yeah. Um, I'm you a know, Actually, <laughs> I like to know how you're doing about your, your flu, your throat. You getting better? Yeah, I, I overcome it. That's I'm cool. Feel, it's I'm taking long, a new... right? Yeah. Yeah, uh, Saturday, I, I I still feel a little a little bad, but yesterday I was still better, and and today much better. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah, you know the same happened to me. I, the problem in my case is that I haven't had the flu like in five years, five or six years. Oof. It's the Throwing first time points. in. Yeah, it's the first time, so I am suffering. I can but, imagine. but what else can we do? You had excellent defense, teacher. Yeah, that's why it amazed me that I got it now. Because as I tell you, usually I I usually get a, a how do you call this in English? Hold on. Mm. There's some specific word, give me just a second because I don't want to use a general term. Uh, how do you call it in Spanish when you get the infection in your throat? Mm. Phonico? 
No, 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 el nombre de la infección, that's a... Uh... Neumonía. <laughs> no, 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 that's neumonía. No, but the, the name of the specific infection here, I'll try to remember, I saw it today, I was talking about that, I was using that word. Now I just forgot it. I don't remember the name of that. So, but usually I get that, but I mean, that's normal for me to get it like two or three times uh, during the during the, the, the year, but now, uh, now it's, uh, it's terrible. But I, I hear you very well, teacher. Your voice is normal. Usually, I mean, I don't usually lose my, my voice. I mean, I get, I can have a big infection, but it doesn't affect my voice that much. Oh, that's cool. Well, not that good because they never believe me in my, in my work. They say like, no, you are okay. And I'm like, oh, dying. Yeah, there is no proof. Yeah. But well, I hope, I hope uh, you, you get well soon. Thank you very much, likewise. Thank you, welcome. Thank you, teacher. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Walter, hello, Walter, how are you? Hello, teacher, good evening. Uh, good evening. I feel tired. Oh, really? <laughs> uh, yes. And the weekend is uh, very, very exhausting. Oh, really, an exhausting weekend? What did you do? Oh, did you go play? Name. Oh, uh, no, teacher. And, and I had a celebration, my family. My oh, wife. yeah, your father in law, right? Yes, yes. Uh, big dad. Yeah, I remember your yes. father in law's birthday. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> and I had a lunch and family. Oh, that's nice. Yes. That's nice. Uh, it's um, good that you can share with them. And after, and yeah. I split a cake. Oh, really? Yes, no, we yes. cut, we cut. We cut, okay. we cut a cake. We cut a cake. And, oh, nice. And night, and at night, um, I watch TV, and then I prepare and closing and and to go to work. Oh, nice. So you have everything ready for today, yeah? Right? Yes. Yes, teacher. I, will. Well, uh, yes, tell me. Uh, por esa razón, how do you say por esa razón? That's why. Okay, that's why I feel uh, tired. <laughs> I imagine. Welcome to the class, Walter. You're welcome, teacher. Okay, guys, let's see, let's see. We will go right now to the conversation part. This, we got us a situation. Let me explain, share with you and explain the situation first, okay? We are working the manual in page number 27, okay? Three managers are in a meeting to discuss the production process of a new shampoo. Read the conversation and take turns practicing, okay? Listen, please. Oh, well, let me first, please get you the picture so you can have it. Uh -huh. Okay, there you go. The conversation goes like this. I wonder if you received a copy of the analysis for the production process. I have, thank you. I have, thank you, Lucia. Perfect. I like us to revise the steps to verify that we are ready to start producing our new shampoo. Right, I like to know if the quality control steps should be repeated once the product is finished. Yeah, that's a good point. Greg, Martha, 
would you mind telling us if the cost to run a second quality control will go very high? Of course, let me revise my files. Great. Could you find out if the production manager is around? I need him to clarify what the revision step is about. I repeat. I wonder if you received a copy of the analysis for the production process. I have, thank you. I have, thank you, Lucia. Perfect. I like us to revise the steps to verify that we are ready to start producing our new shampoo. Right. I like to know if the quality control steps should be repeated once the product is finished. Yeah, that's a good point. Greg, Marta, would you mind telling us if the cost to run a second quality control will go very high? Of course, let me revise my files. Greg, could you find out if the production manager is around? I need him to clarify what the revision step is about. Okay, guys, I just sent you the recording. I will repeat one last time. I wonder if you received a copy of the analysis for the production process. I have, thank you. I have, thank you, Lucia. Perfect. I like us to revise the steps to verify that we are ready to start producing our new shampoo. Right. I like to know if the quality control step should be repeated once the product is finished. Yeah, that's a good point, Greg. Marta, would you mind telling us if the cost to run a second quality control will go very high? Of course. Let me revise my files. Greg, could you find out if the production manager is around? I need him to clarify what the revision step is about. Okay, guys, let's go to do the practicing. Groups are created, please let's jump in. Five minutes to practice. A good point, Greg. Marta, could you mind telling us if the cost to, to run a second quality control will go very high? 
Of course, let me revise my files. Great. Could you find out if the production manager is around? Okay. One more time. You start, okay. please. I wonder if you received a copy of the analysis for the production process. Analysis. I, analysis. Analysis. Sorry. I have. Thank you. I have, thank you, Lucia. Perfect. I like you to revise. I this like step. us. I like us. I like us to review the step to verify that we are ready to start producing our new shampoo. Right. I like to know if the quality control step should be repeated. Once the uh, ons, sorry, once or on site. Once uh, I think so. Once, once, once the, the product, product is finished. Finished. Sorry. Let me remind. Greg, could you find out if the production manager is around? I need him to clarify what the revision step is about. Okay, ahora de Lucía, que sea Natanael. Eh, yo voy a ser Marta y usted, Gret, Roxana. Okay. I wonder if your control will go very high. Of course, let me revise my files. Yeah. Of course, of course, remember, remember, all, all. Like if you oh. are pronouncing an we, okay? Of course. Of course. Greg, will you find out if the production manager is around? I need him to clarify what the revision step is about. Okay. Let's do it uh, again. Or we we let's switch. Yeah, well, let's switch. Continue. You are, you are great. We learn read Lucia. <laughs> you see can you continue reading because you're Lucia? Perfect. I like you to revise the thing to verify that we are ready to start producing our new shampoo. Right. I'd like to know if the quality control step should be repeated once the product is finished. I like to I like us to revise the step to verify that we are ready to start production our new shampoo. Right. I like to know if the quality control stage should be repeated once the product is finished. Yeah, that's a good point, Greg. Marta, would you mind telling us? If the cost to run a second quality contract will go very high, of course. Let me revise my files. Greg, could you find out if the production manager is around? I need him to clarify what the revision is clarify, about. Clarify, 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 clarify what the revision step is about. I'm uh, Lucia again. Okay. I wonder if you receive a copy of the analysis for the production process. I have, thank you. I have, thank you, Lucia. Perfect. 
I like us to revise the steps to verify that we are ready to start producing our new shampoo. Okay. Right. I like to know if a quality control step should be repeat once the product is finished. Finish. Finish it. Yeah. That's a good point, Greg. Mark. Okay, let's see, everybody's coming back in a few seconds. Okay, let's see. Group number one, Claudia, Jose, and Susana. Let's see, Claudia, you are Lucia, Susana, you are Marta, and Jose, you are Greg. Okay. okay. Let's start. I wonder if you received a copy of the analysis for the production process. I have, thank you. I have. Thank you, Lucia. Perfect. I like you to revise the step to, very, to verify that we are ready to start producing our new shampoo. Right. I'd like to know if the quality control steps should be repeated once the product is finished. Yeah. That's a good point, Ray. Marta, would you mind telling us if the cost to run a second quality control will go very high? Oh, cool. Let me revise my file. Ray, could you find out if the products, the production manager is around? I need him to clarify what the revision step is about. Okay, perfect. Just Claudia, remember, I wonder if you receive, receive. I wonder if you receive. Perfect. Excellent. Okay. Francisco, Lucero, and Nicolás. Let's see, Francisco, you are Lucia. Nicolás, you are Marta. And Lucero, you are Greg. Hey, teacher, uh, I wonder if you receive a copy of the analysis for the production process. I have, thank you. I have, thank you, Lucia. Perfect. I like you to revise the step to verify that we are ready to start producing our new shampoo. Right. 
I like to know if the quality control still should be repeated once the product is finished. Yeah, that's a good point, Greg, Marta. What you might telling us is that if the cost to run a second quality control will go very high? No. Of course. Let me revise my files. Red, could you find out if the production money is around? I need him to clarify what the revision step is about. Perfect. Very well done. Yours, uh, Francisco. Uh, shampoo. Shampoo. Okay, this is shampoo. Okay, thank you. Let's see group number three. Fernando, Maria Alejandra, and Wilfredo. Let's see. Fernando, you are Lucia. Maria Alejandra, you are Marta. And Wilfredo, you are Greg. Okay. Um, I wonder if you received a copy of the analysis for the production process. I have, thank you. I have, thank you, Lucia. Perfect. I would like us to revise the steps to verify that we are ready to start producing our new shampoo. Right. I like to know if the quality control step should be repaired once the product, product is finished. Yeah, that's a good point, Greg. Marta, would you mind telling us if the cost to run a second quality control will go very high? Of course. Let me let me revise my file. Greg, could you find out if the production manager is around? I need him to clarify what the revision step is about. Okay. Let's see, Fernando, would you mind? Would you mind? Would you mind? Thank you, Chair. Okay, let's see. Next group. Uh, Ambar, Martha, and let's see who's going to help them. And Wilfredo, you are going to help them. Marta, you are Lucia. Wilfredo, you're going to be Marta. And let's see. Amber is Lucia. Wilfredo is Marta. And Marta is Greg. OK? OK. I wonder if you received a copy of the anal analysis for the production process. Oops, perhaps he's having problems with the microphone. I'll do it. I have, thank you. I have, thank you, you, Lucia. Perfect. I like us to revise the steps to verify that we are ready to start producing our new shampoo. Right. I like to know if the quality control step should be prepared uh, once the product is finished. Yeah, that's a good point, Greg. Marta, would you mind telling us if the cost to run a second quality control will go very high? Of course. Let me revise my files. Greg, could you find out? If the production manager is around, I need him to clarify what the revision step is about. Perfect. Let's see, next group is Nathanael, Roxana, and Walter. Let's see. Walter, you're going to be Lucia, Nathanael, you're Marta, and Roxana, you're Greg. Let's start. I wonder if you received a copy of the analysis, <coughs> analysis 
for the product process. I have, thank you. I have, thank you, Lucia. Perfect. Allow you to reduce the step to verify what we are ready to start producing or new shampoo. Right. I'd like to know if the quality control step should be repeated once the product is finished. Yes, that's good point. Great. Marta, would you mean and telling use if the cop to run a second quality control in go very age? Of course. Let me revise my files. Great. Could you think how the production manager is around? I need him to clarify what the revision step is about. Okay, perfect. Let's see. Uh, 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 analysis, Walter, analysis. Analysis. And revise, revise. Revise. Perfect, thank you very much. Now let's see. Sylvia, William, and Shanira. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Sylvia, you are Lucia. Uh, Shanira, you are Martha. And William, you are Greg. I wonder if you received a copy of the analysis for the production process. I have, thank you. I have, thank you, Lucia. Perfect. I'd like us to revise the steps to verify that we are ready to start producing our new shampoo. Hi. I like to know is the quality control structure the referred once the product is finished. Yeah, that's a good point, Greg. Marta, would you mind telling us if the cost to uh, run, if the cost to run a second quality control will go very high? Of course, let me revise my files. Greg, could you find out if the production manager is around? I need him to clarify that what the revision step is about. Okay, perfect guys. Very, very well done. Okay, next exercise. I got, I will send you again to working groups to answer those short questions. You will have two minutes to answer these questions. If you could be another person for one day, who would you choose to be? And then why, okay? You're going to be working the same groups, okay? Asking and answering that question. You will have three minutes to do the exercise. Hurry up because then I will bring you another question, okay? No. Okay, let me think. What is your answer, Maria? Mm. Person. <laughs> like saying to Angelina Jolie. 
Oh. <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> Because mm, yesterday I see. This is the answer for the number two. So the number, mm -hmm. number two uh, are the quality control step and the review step. What are you doing, guys? A number two is a no. The question I send you is this if you could be another person for one day, who would you choose to be? Oh, my bad teacher. Taking the shot. Teacher, mm. this question is, is weird. <laughs> yeah, I know. Tell me. Who would you choose to be? Uh, you could I, I change. I don't know. For I one don't day. know, teacher. I don't know. In my case, I, I maybe I will be Luisito Comunica because he has a lot of money. He has. Uh, and he travels a lot. A lot. Of, yes, he has a and lot of food. company, and he always traveling around the world. How do That's you nice. say? Sin ningún tipo de. With no uh, worries. Don't worry. Yes. With no worries. With no worries. Yes. Uh, how do you say fue, fue teaching? Was. Uh, Mauricio si fue o I was a person. A person. Humbly. A super player. Humbly is. Yeah. It's, it's wonderful when you when you can visit um, to another country and and know about the, the culture, the the foods and, and the places and different yeah. different yeah, I know I know soy a pango, you know. <laughs> really? Where I is it? Say a pango. Where is it? No, we are talking about that if I could be another person for one day. I choose, I, I would like to be Luisito Comunica. Oh, you're the second one I heard saying that. <laughs> oh, so because because I love travel. Yeah, oh, I love travel. I want to travel. Yeah, yeah like we your, are talking like about your classmates. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. How long since you traveled the last time, Roxana? Sorry? How long since you traveled last? My last travel was uh, when the pandemic started. Do you Only remember you that? Brazil, told you? Right? Yeah, yes. It was my uh, last uh, trip. And maybe. And how, uh, how regularly were you traveling before that? Mm, I travel in uh, regular for I don't know I I I tried to uh, take uh, holidays and weekends and I I travel maybe three or four uh, twice times? in a times 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 sorry in a year. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. So your so, passport got so many stamps. Mm, yeah, they have. But uh, mm -hmm. now I need travel. Seriously, my health, my health, and my mind need one travel. Oh really? Yes. And mm -hmm. I hope maybe on December. Yeah. Maybe, I guess. I hope so. I need to go to Costa Rica. We just went No. Currently, I, I want to visit New York again. I mm -hmm. love December and I love New York on December. Oh, Christmas. Hey, Dad. Like Christmas in New York is another, another, uh, another level. Yes, yeah. it's 
totally, am, totally different. I am thinking about going to Costa Rica in December, but driving. Really? What? El what Salvador time? to Costa Rica and driving? Huh? Yeah. It's uh, two days only. Or only. Yeah. Yeah, just of traveling. What time do you, uh, no, cuando, sí, what time do you need to? Uh, Two days. Two days. To arrive. Yeah. Yeah. What? Okay. No. I prefer no. take a airplane. Yeah, but the funny thing is, to, I mean, the, I like to see. The, the different, different travel in car, but. Uh, yeah, it's. It's, I like to see, I, I like to see the places, you know, I like to see the places and I would like my son to know different places. But it's da dangerous, I think. So uh, I live in Sayapango, so I understand. <laughs> really? So Sayapango is well, very safe. It's safe. <laughs> no, that's the know. thing, Roxana, you live in Sayapango, so... If you live in Soyapango, wherever you go is safe. No, teacher. I live in Soyapango, but um, I am in the um, La Frontera. In the border. In the, in the border of Soyapango and Ilopango. So I don't live in near to Las Margaritas or something like that. I live uh, near to Ilopango Airport. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Here uh, is well, not dangerous. A little, a little fly. Yeah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> I know Santa Lucia, Roxanne. I know Santa Lucia. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but maybe you know uh, the ferry steps, the strange yeah. grass, and I am not live close to there. I know the whole Santa Lucia. I've been all around Santa Lucia. Really, teacher? Yeah. I never, got, I never been there. You know, I when I was young, I used to walk all around Santa Lucia, so I know almost everywhere there. <laughs> you have a, a girlfriend, probably. No le pregunte, Nathanael. See you guys. <laughs> Teacher. Sana, tell me. Why did you take me out? ¿Por qué me sacó? No, I ask everybody to come back. The system kick you out. Perhaps your signal is not that good. Hmm. <laughs> it's because of the questions you were making. Oh no, it was not an idea. <laughs> me, no. <laughs> yes. I'm not. <laughs> I wasn't. Or you can say I wasn't. it wasn't me. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. Okay. Sí, porque no, no fui no, yo. Uh -huh. I used to walk around with some friends. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Francisco, tell me, Francisco, if you could be somebody else for one day, who would you like to be? Okay, teacher, uh, I talk my my problems uh, that uh, I feel well with myself, but uh, if if you, if it's, uh, I, I could other people, uh, I think maybe Elon Musk. <laughs> oh, For me, it's, okay. a, it's a, a very interesting people. Person, yeah. Person. Yeah, he yeah, is. He create 
uh, many technology technology company and mm -hmm. for me it's a very interesting okay wow that's interesting thank you let's see amber you got a good one i remember amber tell me if you could be somebody else for one day who would you choose to be in my case uh, maybe i will be luisito comunica because he has a lot of money he has companies and he usually traveling around the world um how do you say sin preocupaciones okay no worries with Not no worries. worries no worries okay cool thank you amber thank you teacher. let's see let's see let's see let's see what about you janina if you could be somebody else for one day who would you choose to be Yamira. I'm sorry, teacher, I'm talking with mute. <laughs> well, mm. teacher, I'm happy with my life and who I am. Then uh, I think that I can think in some, someone to change. Mm, not really, I, I like my life, I like who I am, then I, I don't change. Okay, perfect. Interesting. Now I got another question for you guys. And the question is as follows. If you could change one thing in the world, what would it be? If you could change one thing in the world, what would it be? This is a deeper question, okay? I need you to think and to elaborate. What would you change and why, okay? I'll send you again to work in the groups. But now we are going to switch the persons you've been working with, okay? Let's jump in, guys. Yeah, if we could change one thing in the world, mm. what would it be? Yeah, for me, is the security. The security? Uh, yeah, este, uh, I would like everyone in the world. Respectado, how do you say this? Respected. Respected. Okay, I would like everyone in the world to be respected and, and for the safety of uh, his person to be a priority. Okay. Uh, for the time uh, I live in the country, in the world, uh, 
a lot of person este, desaparecidas, dice, how do you say? Disappear. A lot of person disappear. Es un topic uh, uh, very delic delicate. To, I, 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 I will work. I will, I will work in to prevent the negative action for the, for the natural resources. And I teach at the politics about the necessary of prop, to protect the, the nature. Okay. What That's about all. you, Claudia? Um, I think that economic inequality, because that is the reason, because there are, in, how do you pronounce injustices? Um, and justice. And justice. Yes. And justice. Okay. Yes, there are many uh, injustices. And uh, a few opportunities. A few. A few opportunities. Okay. Uh, Okay, teacher. Is yes, finish. Uh, okay, just let me check the rest of the groups to see if we go back to the main room. Okay. Okay. Excuse me. Excuse me. The, the, the way do you think? I guess because if we we will have the opportunity opportunity to change the motor uh, and uh, the soul engine, mm -hmm. it could be better for the environment because we can reduce the pollution around the world. Okay. What would you like to change? Los motores de gasolina, teacher. Engine. Oh, really? Mm. What would you like to change, to change them with? Electrical? Yes, yes. Or hybrid, because um, hybrid, many, hybrid, hi, hybrid, yeah, hybrid, hybrid, hybrid. Ah, okay, okay, yeah. okay, okay. And I guess, teacher, if if we work to to reduce the pollution around the world, maybe we will we will have a, a good a good environment. For the future, for the next generation. Yeah. Oh yeah, we. But that way we need to change to make because bigger teacher, changes. Teacher, do you? Um, when the pandemic starts, do you remember that picture that that, that la NASA took? Yeah. Yes. Oh yeah. The air air looked very very nice. And another thing that I, I, it was very, very nice to, to see in Venezia, mm. many species, species. 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 Um, came back to this place. Yeah. And, another, and another places. It's called, it, Lucia. Look. It was look. Very nice. Looked, looked. Okay. I 
I think the system kicked you out pretty fast, guys. Let's see. Maria Alejandra, if you could change one thing in the world, what would you change? I think that I change them not exist the plastic. <laughs> okay. Because I think that damage the environment, the turtles, the oceans, and when the people trash a garbage and I don't know. I think um I think that plastic is a uh, more light than the others the other products or the other I don't know, materials. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean the problem is that we don't recycle enough. Uh -huh. That's a yes. big problem. Yes. Thank you. Okay, teacher. Let's see, let's see. Nathanael, what about you? If you could change one thing in the world, what would you change? Um I I try change the climate climate change in, in the world. Uh yeah, planting more trees. Uh, probably. I'm sorry, would you mind repeating it again? Uh, planting more trees. Oh, cool. Yeah. Why? What, what do you think it will help with? The um, restore the climatic chain. Okay. Well, to the accelerate, actually. Yeah. Yeah, but plant, planting trees is very important. Yeah. Thank you. Let's see, Lucero, what about you? If you could change one thing in the world, what would you change? Uh, well, teacher, in my opinion, uh, I would like to be able to change the distribution of the, how do you say, riqueza, teacher? I think it's rich. Rich. Yes, riches. Rich. Okay. Uh, the distribution of the riches, uh, that there were no people suffering for um, hunger. And it will end the, with the poverty. And so that we could all live happily and in peace, teacher. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Lucero, what about you? Hi, teacher. I think about question, I would like to change many things. For example, one of these is could be, it could be a, the treatment for the animals. For example, when I see a dog abandoned in the street, I, I am felt damaged because because I have a dog and and I and I treat and I try to to take care of them and I remember I I had three dogs and and I lost two two uh, two two months ago and that in that situation I am damaged because because uh, unas personas uh, many people. people many people uh, God lo envenenaron poisonal God como poisonal poisonal and and I am and I was furious furious uh, with them and and also, I want to 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 act uh, the different way. And other and other things, it could be. Uh, I would like to to be from to start, and um, I would like to to don't create the weapon because uh, that's with that's weapon weapons don't bring uh, nothing good uh, for example if if not is don't create that weapon and uh, 
is having war, for example. Um, and that's it, my opinion. Perfect, thank you very much. Now, let's see. Claudia, what about you? If you could change one thing in the world, what would it be? Um, okay. I think that it's more important, more important economic inequality. How do you say regular? Regular? To, or not, to regulate. Uh, to regulate economic inequality. Because I think that is a reason because there are, there are social, how do you pronounce injustice? Unjustice. unjustice. Okay, injustice. Extreme poverty and, and many parts of the world. And there are a few opportunities. And okay, listen, and there are there are a few opportunities. There are a few opportunities. I think that the person should have more opportunity. And I think that should be should we have a limit on the wealth that a single person can have? Oh, and yes, how do you say it también para los países? Also for the que, countries. Yes, oh. yes. I, interesting, quite interesting. Thank you very much. Well, guys. Thank you, all of you. I was checking from group to group and I could see that you were really working on it and expressing yourself. That's great. That's the idea that you are able to communicate. But let me cover something and let me explain to you that we've been working and using some expressions because the grammar for this exercise is actually how to use indirect questions. Yes, no question. Okay, using direct questions to ask questions in a more polite manner. An indirect question expresses the same meaning as a direct question, but it does not present question word order. Look, I wonder if you received a copy of the analysis for the production process. This is a question. I wonder if you received a copy of the analysis for the production process. Compare it to, did you receive a copy of the analysis for the production process? It's the same idea, right? But in this case, it is stated, it is stated as a question, but here it is as stated affirmative. So if you notice the I wonder is the key here, me pregunto. That's the idea we express with I wonder. I wonder if, me pregunto si. I wonder if you received a copy of the analysis for the production process. Give me just a second. Sorry guys, okay. So, let's continue. Here, did you receive a copy of the analysis for the production process? Now here, notice the change again. I like to know if the quality control should be repeated once the product is finished. You see the question? Should the quality control step be repeated once the product the product is finished? If you hear, I like to know, change the whole idea. Because it's the same question, 
but here is not following a question word order. So this is very, very important. Not following the question word order. I like to know. Me gustaría saber. Okay. Questions up to here? No? Okay. Let's continue. Look at the next example. Martha, would you mind telling us if the cost to run a second quality control will go very high? Look at the comparison. Will the cost to run a second quality control go very high? Is the same question, but in this case, look, you stated as a question and the idea is the same, but still when you say, would you mind telling us, le importaría decirnos, you are being, being more polite. In the next example, Greg, could you find out if the production manager is around? The question is, is the production manager around? La pregunta es la misma. Anda por ahí el production manager. But in this case, when you say, could you find out? Podrías averiguar? Could you find out if the production manager is around? Remember, the idea is to be more polite. That's the whole idea here, to be more polite polite. So this expression helps us to be polite. Okay. Notice that if introduced the, the, the indirect question, which we will have sentence order, subject plus verb. Helping verbs like do, does, and did are not included in indirect questions. Now look at this. You don't have the auxiliary, right? Okay, so the auxiliaries do, does, and did are not used. Notice also when we have if right at the beginning, the order is subject plus verb. If you receive, if the quality control step should be. Okay. In this case, all this is the subject, okay? Any question, guys? Teacher. Yes. What is the new manner? I'm sorry. Manager. Polai okay. manner. Oh, manera, forma. Thanks. Be sure. Yes. I have a question. Uh, I don't understand well uh, in the explain. Uh, uh, that say, but it does not present question or order. Oh, but this uh, does, does not present question or order. Okay, the question or order is this. Uh, auxiliary, subject, verb. Look, auxiliary, subject, verb. That's question order, right? En la estructura básica, nosotros tenemos que el orden para una pregunta, una yes no question, es auxiliar sujeto verbo, right? Yes, teacher. Pero acá, si usted se fija, ¿qué orden tenemos? Sujeto, eh, tenemos el it, luego sujeto, verbo en pasado. 
no, hay, no está el auxiliar, no hay signos de pregunta, aunque la idea que transmite es de una pregunta, right? Yes. The same, the same idea. Yes, exactly. You are transmitting the same idea. What's the difference? ¿Cuál es la diferencia? In this case, when you say if, I wonder if, usted está siendo muy amable. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Thank you, teacher. No problem. Now, punctuation. When the introductory segment is a phrase, the resulting statement with the indirect question will take a period and not at question mark at the end. Okay? Cuando el, cuando el segmento introductorio sea una frase, the resulting statement will take a period, va a llevar un punto. Okay? Not at question mark. No el signo de pregunta, the thing that I was explaining, you see? In this case, you've got question mark here. In this case here, you got period, okay? When introduction, when introductory statement is a question, the resulting statement with a direct question will take a question mark at the end. You see here, would you mind telling us? That's a question. Importaría decirnos. That's a question, totally. So then we have a question. But the best way to do it is doing the exercise. So what are we going to do? We are going to do the exercise right now. Exercise number five. Okay, guys, let me take a picture for you so we can do it together. I'll send you a picture of the idea. You have to use introductory phrases and questions to write in direct yes, no questions and compare with a partner, okay? Can you tell me is the machinery capable of performing these processes? Could you tell me? That would be one activity, one way to present it. But let's do it together. I'll send you into groups and I will be passing by. If you got any question, give me a holler. I'll get into your group. Fast, okay? Okay, ladies. Hello. Let's see. Number one, number one. Can you tell me if the machinery is capable of performing these processes? Performing these processes? Yes. Okay. Number, number one two. is a question. Number two is not a question, okay? It's not a question. Yes, teacher. Uh, two is face uh, twenty eight. You got it, Mimi? Yes, heavy. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the exercise is using the introductory phrases and questions to write in the red yes no questions. 
compare answer with a partner. Indirect, yes, no questions. Okay, yeah. And the first one is a question. Okay, the, remember, the first one is a question. Can you tell me if the machinery is capable of performing these processes? Number no. two is not a question, okay? I like to know who the Number two is not a question, okay? Number two, teacher. Yes, it's not a question. I like to know if... I like to know if, if the manufacturer buy new machinery. Will buy. Oh, will buy. If the manufacturer will buy. Yes. Okay. And number one is a question. Number one is a question. It goes like this, question, affirmative, question, affirmative, okay? Okay. Okay, and number I'll give you a tip. Number, they go like this, question, affirmative, question, affirmative, okay? What's okay. the problem, tell me. For example, in the first sentence, uh, I think so, is, can you tell me if is the machine oh, capable? Can you tell me if the machinery is capable? Can you tell me? If the machine, the machine if the machinery is capable. If, if, oh, okay. In the second is I like to know if 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 will no, 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 no. if the manufacturer remember in the affirmative comes the subject first if the manufacturer will buy. Wow. Yes, pass pass verb buy. Will buy. Will buy. Okay, in this case is I like to know the manufacturing if will buy. Will buy. Mm, will be a little bit complex, right? Yes, teacher. For example, for the like number this. one. Number one is a question. Okay, uh, we discuss if the answer may be, uh, can you tell me, change for the, could you tell me if you the match You can say, can you tell me, can you tell me is acceptable? Can you tell me if the machinery is if, capable? Is capable, oh. Yes. If the machinery, if. if is capable is capable of performing those processes. Yes. Can you tell me if yes. is it in, for if? If the machinery is. Uh -huh. In number if the two. Machine. Yeah. And remember, in number two, I like to know if the manufacturer will buy. Oh. We will buy we change the structure mm -hmm. i like to know if the manufacturer will buy new machinery to produce or order some time if the machinery is uh, 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 well oh in number one yes yes if the machinery is will you tell me if the machinery is Oh, okay. Yes, exactly. Okay. I wonder. 
I, I wonder can't which... tell if you know. Okay, guys. Uh, well, actually, I sent you the answers to the to the exercise. If you check the the, the the WhatsApp group, I just sent you the answers. Let me read them for you. Number one, can you tell me if the machinery is capable of performing these processes? Number two, I like to know if the manufacturer will buy new machinery to produce our orders on time. Number three, do you know if the schedule and production control forms are complete? Number four, I like to find out if the operation plan describes the process parameters. Number five, do you have any idea if we will go for a small batch or mass production? And number six, I was wondering if you received the quotes of the raw material providers. Okay. Now, something that I need you to understand is this. It doesn't matter if they, if when you change, you use a question mark or a period. Always you change the order between the subject and the verb. Remember, the only thing that is changing is this. You're making a question in a more polite way. But when you are speaking, remember, you are expressing as in an affirmative. Like if I ask, let's see, William, I wonder if you could, listen, I wonder if you could stay tonight after the class. I wonder if you could, if you, subject, could stay, model and the verb, an affirmative, that's not a, I mean, grammatically, it's not the structure of a question, right? Grammaticalmente, esa no es la estructura de una pregunta. Porque voy, sujeto, modal, verbo principal. Usually, the question would be, William, could you stay tonight after the class? Sería, could you? El modal al inicio. Esa es la estructura de una pregunta, pero alteramos el orden de las preguntas. Why? Because these are indirect questions. I wonder if. Me pregunto si. I like to know if. Me gustaría saber si. And you stated as an affirmative sentence. Y lo decimos como una oración afirmativa. Okay, like uh, imagine that Francisco, his boss called him. Francisco is on vacation and his boss tells him, hey, Francisco, uh, I'd like to know if you could come to, to your workplace tomorrow. And Francisco was like, no, man, terrible. You see, that's a question, but in an affirmative way. I like to know if you could come, right? And it's a polite question. Es una pregunta amable. Okay? It's different if they tell you, hey, Francisco, come tomorrow to the to your workplace, please. That's more direct, right? But if they ask you, hey, Francisco, could, uh, I would like to know if you could come tomorrow to work. 
you will be like, mm, I mean, sometimes when they ask you in a more polite way, we feel like more softer, but perhaps more a compromise, right? And that's the idea you introduce with this. Don't worry, guys. Tomorrow, we are going to do some exercises, speaking exercises as the one we were doing at the beginning. You remember, I, that's why I, I asked you to ask, to ask each other, if you could change something in the world, one thing in the world, what would you do? What would you change? Okay, that was one question like in the, former, in the form we are using right now. Okay, but our time is over. So let me get the attendance. And as I told you before, don't worry. Tomorrow we are going to do more exercises so you can practice it more and get acquainted with the topic in a more formal way, okay? I'm Barelli Alfaro Gomez. Present. Claudia Elizabeth Ramos Barrientos. Present. Daniel Eduardo Segueda Valencia. Fernando Marvin Gonzalez Martinez. Present. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejia. Present teacher. Jose Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. Lucero Abigail Godínez López. Present teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Marta Ana Belinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Natanaela Ayala Arizondo. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present. Oscar Ricardo Alvarenga Rodríguez. Roxana Iveda Asensio de Mejía. Present. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Present teacher. Chanira Elizabeth Asensio García. Okay, guys. Thank you Perfect. very much. See you tomorrow. Thank you, Shamira. Bye bye. Have a good night. Good night. Bye bye, good night. Bye, -bye. bye bye, everybody. Lucero. Lucero, are you still here? Oh my gosh. I asked William to stay.
Okay, we just check and send her the results. Let's hope she can check them soon.
Okay, let's see. Is it tomorrow somebody else can say? Uh, 